but that's the other side of the nice guy. So when you met him, had you been dating a non-nice guy, extreme, like on the other end before that? Maybe a real bad boy? That's yeah. Right. Yes, it was. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's the way it usually works. So yeah. what happens is a woman on average will date this bad boy that's, that doesn't give a fuck, that's all over the place. And then she gets so tired of that that she tries unconsciously, the other end of the polarity comes out and ends up with dating the nice guy for a while, but then gets so tired of that, she goes back the other way and there's a bouncing effect between the two. That was my last one. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know I was like, he was. Yeah. The other guy was went all the way on this, 100% on this spectrum as opposed to the guy before him. Yeah. So the non-nice guy is usually, he's exciting, he's wild, he's charismatic, he's good in bed, he's not afraid of sex, sexuality, he's not afraid to tell you what he likes, he's like, and you know he means it, but then he also is uncontrollable to the extreme. He's all over the place, right? When you get burned out on that because you get hurt really bad, maybe you get your heart broken, the nice guy is a good place to go get your heart repaired because they'll validate you, make you feel special, make you feel beautiful, and, you, and they don't even realize it's happening. And then when the nice guy, when you get tired of the nice guy, it's like, God, he's so nice, but I'm just not feeling it. The other the extreme version of the nice guy becomes an asshole too but just a plain asshole, not a bad boy fun asshole. Because here he is, he did all this stuff for me and now he's just being an utter dick because I didn't give him exactly what he wanted in return. God, I gotta get away from this guy, he's crazy. And the more repressed nice guy that doesn't show much anger, doesn't reverse, he just manages to bury it all down. He just becomes, he's so sweet. I feel bad breaking up with him, but I'm bored. And then that guy, when he finally does blow because he's repressed so much anger, he seems like an utter psycho. You know, because maybe it's once a year he blows, maybe it's twice a year, and, and, uh, and all of it comes out at once. And then what is the nice guy, as you guys all know, as a nice guy, what do you feel after you have a blow like that? What do you feel like? You, maybe you've been holding it in for a year and you finally lose it, ah, because you can't hold it in any longer. What do you feel at, right afterwards, after it's all done and settled down? Guilt. You feel relief right at the moment you do it, but then afterwards you feel utter guilt because what did you do? You just had a massive bout of wants, needs, and desires. And now, that's shameful. This is all associated with shame right here. So all of a sudden you go into this massive shame. Shame means I am bad. And then you have to try to repair it. And then that's when you become super reactive and apologetic over and over. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it, I'll change, I'm bad. And then what happens to, what happens to you in the eyes of the woman? You went from this guy who at least was nice and sweet to this guy who's just begging, weak, has no confidence at all that feels like he's gonna be nothing without her. And suddenly it's like, wow, who is this guy? This isn't the guy I started dating. Does that happen to you? He's crying, he's all over the place. So 